is going to lead to organizational changes in Mexican labor. And if there is a new labor congresses allied to Morena, the new governing party, uh, are they, if they are emerging. Well, um, yes, I, th I think the, well, the answer in both cases is yes. But um, in both cases, it's uh, incipient and ambivalent and uncertain, the, the situation. Um, so, uh, regarding the organizational changes in um, Matamoros, yeah, they had, as they had to go on strike both against the employers and their union, which was a corporatist, uh, pre-controlled union within the CTM, you know, the uh, Congress of Mexican Labor. Um, yes, they've had to innovate organizational forms. They basically work as a kind of social movement, and, and they are uh, supporting each other. Uh, they also work through uh, lawyers. Uh, there's one lawyer in particular, uh, Susana Prieto, who's been very prominent in helping the uh, workers to organize uh, against uh, various attempts, both by management and trade unions, to stop the strikes. Um, so that, that is also an aspect of trade union or, or workers' organization in the Maquiladoras in the frontier zone is to organize through NGOs uh, on human, human rights questions and so on, which is, is a tactic that has developed over the last uh, couple of decades. Um, so that's one aspect. Uh, on the new labor congresses, yes, there are a couple that are uh, organizing and that are reasonably close to Morena, but Morena and Lopez Obrador, right from the start of the government, has given priority to uh, to uh, business organizations. Uh, they even created a business advice uh, in commission. So, so even though they claim to represent both capital and labor, which obviously is impossible, but um, um, you know, in typical uh, neo-populist style, um, in, yes, these two new uh, trade union uh, confederations, I'm, for, I'm sorry their names escape me in this moment, but I mean, you can find them quite easily on, on the internet if you look. Um, um, yes, they are trying to to get close to the Morena government, but the Morena government at this moment is not very interested in being close to trade unions. And in fact, the Morena government sees these strikes in Matamoros and in my union and in, uh, in my university as strikes against the government. So they have not been supportive at all of, of the strike wave. And that is why there has been a lot more repression than I think a lot of people expected. I think a lot of people who voted Morena, voted Lopez Obrador in July last year, uh, are getting a bit of uh, a slap in the face, you know, uh, uh, cold water of reality uh, chucked in their faces by the fact that the government is much more pro-union and is prepared to repress strikes. Um, we will see if our strike in the WAM, in the UAM, gets repressed tomorrow. Okay, well, thanks. I hope I answered your question. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Okay. So, Victor, a question. Um, is it worth the distinction between the role of education capitalism and how effective the strike works in Charlie Town? So, it's not about going back to muscular, manly, 